All right, now we're continuing through the rest of the setup process for creating your profile account on LinkedIn. We've already verified our email address, and what this does is to make sure that you're not creating a bogus account, uh, which we technically are for this video purposes, but we're going to be deleting this um, as soon as we're done. So what is this doing now? It is trying to find information based off of your email accounts and uh, off of your information that you have put in so far. So my email address is listed for this uh, Gmail account with PAFP in here, and I'm having to find myself and other people that I work with at PAFP. And I can connect with them and um, you know say, hey, I want to be friends with these people and add them as my connections. I could do this right now and just choose everybody by hitting select all and I can hit add connections or I could skip this step entirely. Now if you, for a physician, if you're working in a hospital setting or a practice that has um, you know, many different people, different um, providers and uh, different parts of your uh, practice all together, um, you might want to do this so that you're connecting with the people professionally um, that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. Why is that important? Well. In case for future proving, if you happen to move on from this ho for the current hospital setting, if uh, you move to a different practice, if you move to a completely different state, part of the state, or across the country, uh, you have professional contacts, people that you've worked with that can give testimonial to what type of character that you are. Um, so that's why it's important, I feel, for physicians to connect with their staff. Now, again, you know, with social media, you want to be careful with who you connect with and what you actually talk about on social media because it can be misconstrued and miscategorized and um, be taken out of context. LinkedIn does a pretty good job of making sure that um, the information that you're sharing is very truthful. So you want to be able to connect with people that you really trust and, and that you um, have no problem sharing certain information with. For physicians, it's very important to still remember that HIPAA compliancy is still something that you have to take into consideration here. And if you, you really shouldn't be talking about any sort of clinical issues, uh, identifiable clinical, clinical issues about patients on here. Uh, you do have uh, some more security and privacy with LinkedIn, but um, everything is not secure and foolproof to 100%. So again, think like a publisher, speak like a friend. Um, I do feel that LinkedIn's a little, uh, a little bit more discerning with its privacy practices, but um, you still want to make sure that the information you're sharing is something that uh, you have got no problem with the public seeing. So, um, like I said, we're going to delete this account, so I'm not going to connect with anybody, but uh, I'm going to skip this step. I can add my phone to my phone number to my LinkedIn account and get notifications from LinkedIn and get the app. So anytime that someone wants to connect with me or sends me a message, I can add my phone number to this and I'll get a notification through a text message from LinkedIn saying that uh, person X, Y, and Z wants to connect with me, person X, Y, and Z sent me a message, or person X, Y, and Z also liked one of my posts. Um, so that is this section up here. I can put my phone number in here, and again, standard text messaging rates apply. We also won't display your phone number on your profile, so that's also very important. It's just for the internal communications that won't put your number out there. You can put your phone number out there if you so choose, but um, that really depends on you know, your own privacy and personal uh, you know, feelings about things. Now, below here you're going to see that Android, uh, Windows Phone, Blackberry, iPad, and iPhone, they have apps for all these different mobile devices and all the different operating systems. So you can actually access LinkedIn at a uh, moment's notice through your mobile device. And you, know, you can't just download it right here, but it'll take you to the uh, the stores, the, the online stores where to get them. Um, the apps are free. You can download them automatically from the Google Play Store or the iTunes or wherever you get your apps through Windows and Blackberry. But um, once you have an account set up, all you have to do is load up the app, type in your uh, username and your email and your password, and you're logged in. So we're going to skip this for right now because I'm not going to attach it to my phone. 
And now we have an account set up, we can choose your plan level. So like I said that LinkedIn is a tiered service. And what I mean by that is that you have a free basic account and that's all denoted here. And this is what you can get for your account. You can create a professional profile to build your network. You can join industry and alumni groups. You can search and apply for jobs. You can also see who has viewed your LinkedIn profile. And you see you have a limited ability with this. Premium accounts get to see the full list. Free accounts only get to see the last five latest results. And then view professional profiles over 100, 225 million people. So there's the current number of people that are using it. Um, premium accounts get access to job and education history, recommendations, and groups. Free accounts to see a limited profile. So you pay more, you can, get, you can add more stuff to your profile, basically. So you see the free one has some pretty basic ones, and we're going to use the free one. But if you choose the premium, it starts at $25 roughly $25 a month. And you can see full history and you can view way more things that you um, don't, can't see with a basic profile. One of the things that you'll notice is that with a basic profile, you can't directly message people that you don't know so or you're not connected to. So with free and basic, you can't do that. With premium, you can. And also with premium, you can add people that you know if you have one connection, uh, one person that's a mutual friend, you can add that person to your account and to your uh, connections list without having to put an email address in. And you can also have the ability to sort and organize things more, so save profiles into folders, add notes and contact information so that you can uh, look up uh, physical addresses, fax numbers, phone numbers, uh, more information beyond there and you can reach out to a lot more people. So um, this is something as a physician, I would suggest hold off on the premium account just yet. Go with the free one, you can always upgrade at a later point. So for this video, we're gonna go with basic and um, we can show you some of the premium stuff a little bit later. So we're gonna choose basic and we now have our profile page starting to set up. So the next video, we're actually going to create more parts of our profile.